the sea to your dinner plate. There. Right where little left. We've been discovered. Drop those things. Attack them. Let's talk to you. You. I am not. Ah, Jupiter, take it all. How do you know my name? Did you now? And what were you doing there? I'm impressed, but our business here is none of yours. Leave while I'm feeling generous enough to give you the chance. That is an unexpected proposal. To turn my back on my Patronus. No less than 10,000 denarii would suffice. You fail to count my share in profits and bounty. Make it 8,000 and we have a deal. Wait here until they come to us. Enough! Stop! You've made your point. Curses, but you are relentless. What do you want, anyway? Isn't it obvious? Vitellius Skyavala owns it. He shares the plunder with the Igean pirates in exchange for protection. There's a hidden cave on the coast near Calcadon, where Mithridates stores his supplies. His soldiers guard it vigilantly. I can lead you to it. If I take you to the galley, the soldiers will empty the cave. If I take you to the cave, the ship will leave. It's not about how quiet we are. I just completed a trip to move the supplies from the ship to the cave. The soldiers will have started to move the goods, and the ship is preparing to leave. There is no time. You're sure? 
There'll be no time to stop those supplies from getting to Mithridates later. A lot of good Romans will die if we don't stop those supplies. The war will be won or lost with or without supplies. Through the skill of the warriors and the shrewdness of their commanders. If we don't bring home any evidence against Scaevola, your sister will be stuck with him. The villa... I want you to get your villa back and restore your name, believe me. But think of the cost to the war effort. As you wish. Hide yourselves on my boat.
Not that I need any help, but... Come on, you big sack of wheat! Vipers among us. I can't believe it. Those two are nothing. Greedy swindlers with a cruel streak. Bringing them down will be an afterthought to us. There's a very promising looking chest up in the prow. Greek fire. I abhor this stuff. These crates and sacks, they bear Skyvola's seal. It appears he has been supplying food and resources to the enemy indeed. This is the most severe kind of treason. And the evidence is indisputable. Well, the Watelius brothers are in the wind. May their name be thrice cursed. This knowledge will cost our legions dearly, however. The three to two soldiers will be long gone by now. Let us head back to dry land and join the siege at Calcaden.
ready to deploy the Legion. Congrega, take off your city! The men are close enough to engage. Who are you? Oh. And, uh, why are you here? We were not told to expect you. Well, uh, go on in. I can do nothing to stop you. Stevanos, uh, run along and warn Dominus that we have guests. Getting better. Maybe he'll last more than a minute against Dayanera next time. Honored legate. Please come in. Make yourself at home. And your people too. My house is open to you. Are you? Well, as it happens, I do have a fresh group close to finishing their training. We have a few very impressive fighters among them. My favorite is Carpophorus. We are training him to be a bestiarius, and he has a true flair for showmanship, sure to bring in a fortune in Rome. But my best, my best is the Anira. Man Destroyer. Hmm. An evocative name. I promise you have never seen anything like her. They are indeed. I have trained volunteers before, but the war takes most men who are looking to fight. We keep them separated and create an environment where they see each other as enemies and rivals. That way, whenever trouble starts, it is gladiators fighting each other, not teaming up against us. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. It's true. There is no reason to deny it. I am a man of business, and Mithridates made me an offer that far surpassed what I was getting out of my loyalty to Rome. This is not about anything so simple as a lump sum. What I stand to gain from giving Thrakia to King Mithridates cannot be matched by Rome. And don't think about threatening me with invasion. Your one legion, however formidable, would find it difficult to stand against the legions of Thrakia. Your legions were hastily raised and have never seen battle. But they are well equipped, and they vastly outnumber you. The facts are against you, Kenturio. You ask me why? Fine. I will see if I can explain it to you. It is about Denari, of course. But more than that, Rome is unraveling. The Optimatis and the Popularis are at each other's throats. 
It was this conflict that allowed Mithridates to take Asia from Rome once before. It was only the election of a strong dictator that allowed Rome to defeat Pontus. Perhaps you are too young to remember Cornelius Sulla and his purges. Sulla did what needed to be done. Rome was plagued by decadence and corruption. Populism is the rich and powerful deceiving the weak and uneducated for their own personal gain at great cost to society. Mithridates nearly defeated Rome before. He will be victorious this time and bring stability to Asia. It may seem that way, but there are cracks in the foundation, my young man. Will you stay and continue this discussion over dinner? Perhaps I can change your mind. My table may not be a match for the famous feasts of your consul, Lucullus, but I promise my kitchen will not disappoint. Come, Stephanos, we will make the arrangements. Please don't go anywhere, Legate. With your permission, I will visit the gladiators and get a sense of their mood. We may be able to stir up some trouble. Enjoy your dinner, Legate. That's enough practice for today! Get some food and some rest so you're ready for tomorrow's games! You're not allowed in here! It's for our gladiators, witless fool. Come on, a few rounds. You can handle that. No, you seek to humiliate me. I sparred most of day already. You know I'm tired. You're a fierce warrior woman. Why are you afraid of me, huh? The Man Destroyer, come on! I say no. I want to eat. I got something right here for you to eat, bitch. You piece of shit! Stupid whore. You'll regret that. They will hurt me tomorrow. Who are you? You fight beasts? 
Why are you here, Tabat? You train gladiators now? <laughs> you do not mince your words. I like that. My name is Deanera. I ask you, what happens to us when the Lanista is dead? Your legion. You fight Mithridates? I am Shuthian, from East. My people fight Pontus. Pontus takes us as survey, sell us to Greeks. It is how I am here. I will help you, Tabat. Other gladiators, they care about me. I am like little sister to them. Tell me, what is your plan? Hmm. Uh, what did you think, hmm? The food was as good as I said, was it not? Huh. I was aiming for something a fair bit more than adequate, but at least you're full, it seems. Domine! The gladiators are rioting! Oh, tonight? Really? Just wait for it to die down and drag them back to their cells when they are done. This time is different. They're working together. Oh, uh, impossible! Call the militia! I'll see to this personally. It seems we can always count on Bestia to put on a show. This is our chance. The guards will be busy fending off the gladiators. Let's catch ourselves a traitor. They have come to stop us! Time to show what you have learned! Right. Practice time is over. Night against them. I'll hold you back. Hang on, friends. We're here to save you. Ah! 
Your father would be proud, Domine. Open. Artemis, steady my hand and guide my arrow to the heart of my enemy. Seems the Romans need to be taught a lesson. Let us begin. My shield all you want. That's why I brought it.
Take care of me, and I shall slay many of your foes. Please follow my finger. Yes, you'll be all right. Nearly done.
was madness. I have been waiting for this for so long. Let us go and deal with this pig. I want to see the look on his face now he is beat. You used my own gladiators against me. Don't you understand what danger you've put us all in? On your feet, Anista. You are ingenious, and in your brilliance, one day you will either get yourself killed, or bring about the ruin of the Republic. We have heard enough out of you, Damianos. You should be quiet now, and try to face your death like a warrior. Don't kill him. He deserves worse fate than that. He should try being Servus himself. Killing him is the safest option. He clearly holds a lot of sway in this region. The locals might try to rescue him if we keep him alive. Servitude teaches humility. He would be more valuable alive, and it would give him a chance to atone for his poor decisions. It makes no difference to the war effort. I will bring this hapless fool back to the Legion camp. See you there. So we are free now, but we have nothing. I will join your legion, if you will take me to Rome when the war is finished. I am Deianera. It's good to meet you. Shuthia. They are lands north and east of here. Wide steps. Lot of space for roaming. It is. Lanista gave it to me. It means... Man destroyer. I think I will keep it. Does it matter? I am Deanera now. I do not. You are in charge. I fight for you. You show me Rome. We know she's a force to be reckoned with in a fight. And Khaled has already shown us that women have a place in war. It wouldn't be terrible to have another woman among us. Have heard so much about it. It's center of world, right? Big streets, spices, fabric, wine. I want to try these things. Good. We will win war first, and fast. Then we will go to Rome. You will be glad you brought me with you. You may need to unlearn some of your Shethian ways, and get used to fighting in Roman formations. You know much about Shethian fighting? You'll find that our warfare is much more organized, and more effective than what you're used to. Welcome to the war, Deonera. We'll take good care of you, don't worry. Another violent foreigner with questionable morals added to our ranks, then. <sighs> I'm not certain this is altogether wise. All I owned was taken when I was captured. If you can spare weapons and armor, it would be good. Thank <laughs> you. 